There are no bears in this bakery. By Julia Sarcone Roach There are no bears in Little Bear Bakery. I'm the whiskers of this neighborhood, and if it flutters, scurries, or scampers here, I know about it. The name is Muffin, and this is my tale. Each night, the moon rises, the bread rises, and I rise. The air cools, and the sounds get interesting. That's when the night shift begins. Scratch, scratch, squeak is the mouse behind the bakery. Clang, crash, crunch, crunch is the raccoons in the dumpster. Snip, snip, flap, flap, ah! Is the bats visiting the barber shop? I thought I knew all the night sounds until last night. Last night, after the sun rolled off the edge of the sky, a mysterious new sound rumbled over the windowsill. <laughs> I stepped out to investigate. The air was cool and wet like a dog's nose. The alley was empty. No mouse, no raccoon, not even a bat. The bakery's back window was open like a crooked smile. I slipped into the darkness, like icing melting down a hot cake. Inside, I listened for clues. Maybe it was a mouse. Mice love sprinkles. And that is when I saw it. It was the biggest mouse I had ever seen. <sighs> Actually, it was the smallest bear I'd ever seen. I was surprised. The bear was surprised. My tail was the most surprised. <sighs> Grr rumbled from the bear's belly. Up close, the bear smelled like old socks, cinnamon, and adventure. The problem was clear. And I was on the case. The rumbling grew softer and softer. Until, burp. For a moment, everything was quiet. Too quiet. I heard snuffling sounds behind me. I had a tail. I mean, my tail had a tail. I mean, there was something in the darkness. The darkness had eyes, and they were looking at me. My whiskers trembled, my paws shook. <sighs> it was an enormous bear. It smelled like the dumpster on a hot day and rumbled louder than the vacuum cleaner. Suddenly, it was lights out. Everything went dark, and I couldn't move. I was smooshed, like a muffin between the couch cushions. 
I was in the middle of a giant bear hug. It was warm, like a bath mat in the sunshine. It smelled like that bath mat needed a bath. There was a low rumble from somewhere in the fur. Purr. Oh wait, that was me. It turns out big bears like sprinkles too. Light began to nibble at the edges of the window. It was time for naps. Even my shadow was sleepy. I made sure the bears got on their way safely. The sun rose and stretched like a yawn down the alley. The bears rumbled back to the forest. The night shift had ended. My job here was done. Purr. So that's it. Another case closed by Muffin. No bears in Little Bear Bakery. Not anymore. I took care of them. It was a messy job, but I handled it. Now it's time for a nap. By the way, we're out of donuts. The end.